good day to you guys how are you doing over there i want to welcome you to this channel if you are watching this channel for the first time consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss my valuable videos like this now today without wasting much of our time i'll be showing you guys some corrections you can make on your dashboard yes we'll be seeing series of questions sir i want to correct my course because i want to correct my grade i want to arrange my name i want to do this and that yes most of these things is what you can do by yourself on your smartphone without you visiting anybody or paying anybody to do it all you just have to do is just to go to nyc portal you should know that if you don't have nyc portal the description of the link will be i'll be pinned in the description below go to nyc portal so when you go to nyc portal you you provide your details and you enter just like this you enter so now for me i already slot in some my details that i'll be showing you guys where you can make all the necessary corrections so now once you log in you clear you put your password this and that you click on resume so once you resume you'll be redirected to the page like this yes so this page now is going to show your your i mean it's going to log into your portal and from this you have to close firstly close your pop-up this pop-up that will show that will show first without you closing this pop-up you cannot do anything believe me you so everything you'll be clicking will not be effect be clicking clicking click, it will not be effect not be clickable so it's just an uh, what is it called just like a consent this and that blah 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 you understand so now without wasting much of our time i'm going to click on the on the close button sorry or please on me information will be blur here it's just for a security purpose so i'm going to close it once i close it it's going to show up my page like this my name my badge my phone number gender you understand so from my let's say from my left hand side here you can see you want to change your password you want to do course correction so now let me start from course correction you click on the course correction beside you the course correction beside you uh, on your left hand side so you can scroll down you see this page now from here now if you are having incorrect what is it called incorrect um incorrect course you can just search for it and choose whatever that you know that you you know it's your course the account I'm using an, is an um, HNE Polytechnic Information. So, I did it's university, you'll have seen different courses like that, law, medicine, stuff like that. So, now that is that. And once you are done, you click on send request. And also, if you, if you are having distinction, they give you upper, you can adjust it, apply for it here. If you are having lower, they give you upper, you can uh, apply for correction here. And also, this information. I don't think um, if you graduated from Polytechnic, you'll be given a chance. If you graduated from, uh, what is it called, from university, you'll be given, um, what is it called, your degree, your BSc or BA. You understand? So if qualification is not the same, you just come here and change it. So that is that on that, on course corrections and um, grade corrections. So and once you are done, you click on this send request. You see, you send request. So that is that on course correction. So now, that's the number one. If you want to do any adjustments like that, you do it. You do your course correction. You understand? It's very simple. Log in on your phone and do what, and you 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 you, you get it done without help of anybody or paying to anybody. You understand? So that is that. The next on my agenda here is course I name correction. We have to go back. You click on dashboard. Then the first pop-up will still pop up. We'll close it. So once we close it, scroll down. You see this print slip is for those people that have not printed their call-up number. Yes, don't misunderstand the call-up number and green card, they are the same. So call-up number is, is just a number that shows that your registration has been successful and you know with that is near you understand and green card if you print the green card the call up number will certain will be in that green card so if you have the call up number on your dashboard it means you can go ahead and print your green card you understand that is that for that 
so you just you can download it on your phone and go to cafe to print it click on print and you'll be directed to a page to print it you understand i think i've done a video like that if you want to know how to print it i'll pin a video below and check the check the video so that is that now let's go to course correction i mean name correction as you can see from here you can see excuse me as you can see apply for name correction you see it here so if your name you are having a mistake mind you there is no addition or removal of name on nyc dashboard again if your name is three names you have three names on your nyc dashboard and two names on your school document go back to your school and apply for removal of name you understand so and if you want to add name you go to your school through your SAO student affairs officer to do that so now let's apply for name correction as you can see we'll be given two options here is it name um, do we want to correct spellings or want to apply for rearrangement let's go for spellings mind me i will i will i'll blow some information as well you click on this one it's going to show up it's going to show up your name so once it show up your name you can see the first name the middle name and the uh, and the surname and once you are done you click on send place request you click on place request so once you place request it's going to notify you and although it will be writing where where that show, the place that shows that apply for name correction it will be writing your name has been reviewed so it's not that it's immediately no they are going to review it and once it's approved you see it and once it's disapproved you see it as there as well so that is for corrections just for people some people might be bearing um maybe having like two spellings let's say someone being mary they might write mary for the person you understand so to are and you want to uh, remove that little little mistake you understand so that is for spellings then again let's go back and apply for uh, this place where i'm saying this particular place will tell you your name has been reviewed uh, you, you understand so that is that then let's go back again let's go back and apply for name rearrangement if your name is not properly arranged you can see it here apply for name rearrangement just the same way you apply for rearrangement and you do what you please request so that is that that is how to do any name corrections like i said name addition or removal must pass through your student affairs officer you go to your school so they will help you you understand so that is that on that yes the next on the list is how to correct your date of birth using wife verification pin so now let's close you'll see below here change dop using wire you click on it as you can see this information is meant for people that have wahek now, now let's say on my wahek i have age below than 30 years and on my jump i have age above 30 years so now after my registration i've been showed exempted that my exemption letter has been sent to my school to be processed you understand so instead of that instead of me going for exemption i might decide to use the verification pin if i want to go to service you know some people might decide they don't want to go to service and go for exemption but if you want if you wish to correct your date of birth you must have WAEG, being WAEG dc or internal WAEG. you know we have june july we have november december so you must have WAEG. this um this option is not applicable for naptep or neco is only for WAEG users you understand so you must have WAEG, and once you have your WAEG, you buy WAEG verification pin as you can see you slot in the white verification pin you select your exam type the exam type means probably internal or external for school it means the one internal may june and for private november december that is dce you understand so then exam year you select the exam year you select it there after that you slot in the exam number the exam number you see it on your printout or your certificate if you have gotten the certificate and also once you are done just click on place request so once you place request this particular step takes like 24 to 48 hours to be done if they you even get um not notified in your mail that your distance has been approved to you should check your portal to to find out you understand so that is that on name and age corrections as well 
if you have age above 30 years on your work you cannot use it and some people might have difference in just the days and months if you wish to correct it you can correct it and if you don't want to correct it it's not going to affect in any way you know some people might want to form out see that okay the date of my work i want it to be the same number nyc discharge certificate because your dob will be on your nyc discharge certificate what i mean by job is your date of birth so you may want the date of birth on your se the YX certificate to be on nyc results as well so thank you guys thank you thank you so much this is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and like also share to your groups to your friends to your colleagues so that they will have the insight they have the knowledge of how it works something they can do by themselves without them going to anywhere to pay you understand so that is that you know those are the ways we can assist ourselves thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next video thank you so much